Hi my dear fitness friends, today we have our 2020 fall legs and booty lift to do. So for this workout I will be using my barbell, my kettlebells, my dumbbells, um, my plyo box set at 16 inches to do hip thrusts um, with my back against it. And I'll, I'll also be using plates as a deficit. You don't really need any of that. I promise you, you can do this entire workout with some dumbbells, okay? So challenge yourself with the weights that you have and the equipment that you have and make modifications so that you can get this workout done. Um, I have a short body weight warm up. It's only four minutes and 20 second intervals. I will be using my resistance band for that. So if you have one, grab it. If not, it doesn't matter. You can still do the warm up using your muscles without the resistance band. And I will see you on the mat for this workout in just a minute. All right, guys, I am all ready to hit start on this warm up. It is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Four moves that we're going to go through two times, okay? So going through them like a circuit, we're beginning with frog pumps. I'm not going to use my resistance band for the frog pumps, but I'm going to go ahead and put it around my ankles so I have it ready to pull up for the next three moves, okay? We're doing banded bridges and then pulling that, I'm sorry, frog pump, so pulling that resistance band up, doing banded bridges and then cha-chas on either leg. So, just a Tabata timer, 10 second countdown is on. So on your back, on the mat, feet together, knees out, starting to get those glutes pumped up. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Pump it up. Really squeeze your butt. It's only 20 seconds. Start to breathe. Nice job. All right, pull that band up to your thighs. Feet are down, you're pressing out against that resistance band for bridges. Nice job. Okay, stand it all the way up, hinge forward. Put your hands on something, even if it's just the wall. Place all of your weight into your left hip and cha-cha back at a diagonal step with your right. Getting a slight abduction here also. Three, two, and one. Nice job, getting the left side. So placing all of your weight into your left leg, hinging forward, chow time back with your left. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Back to your frog pumps. Second time through. So take that resistance band down. Feet are together, knees are out. Nice job. Start to think about what you're doing here today. Why you're, why you hit play on this workout. What makes you feel good about being here today? You've already done more than most people do by just getting here. Press your knees out against that resistance band for bridges. Here we go. Breathe it out. When I tell you to think these things, I do the same thing. In my mind, I was thinking, it's been a little while since I've done a strict lower body routine. That's why I'm here today. This is part of my routine. I do this to feel good, to feel strong, to feel healthy. Weight in your left leg, step it out. Cha-cha. To get sweaty. 10 seconds. 
three, two, one. I'm here today so that I am more effective and efficient throughout the rest of the day. Hinge forward, weight in the right leg. seconds and that will be the end of our warm-up three two and one nice work go ahead and keep that resistance band on because we're going straight into our first set which is hip thrust we're going to do it four times okay we have 20 hip thrusts paired with 30 swings now our swings we're going to do drop set style which means you have a heavier weight and a lighter weight you're going to drop set it at whatever rep count is a challenge for you. If that's 15 reps and 15 reps, go for that. I'm going to attempt to do 20 and 10, okay? And when you do your drop set, you switch weights as quickly as possible, not giving yourself much rest in between them. So let's get started with our hip thrusts. Get your barbell situated in front of you. Get underneath it. Hopefully you have some sort of padding to protect your hips. 20 reps. Full posterior pelvic tilt with each rep. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice work, bring it down. All right, you've got your swing set, so you can go ahead and take your resistance band off. Make sure your barbell's out of your way. Starting with my 60. I'm going to go for 20 swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Going straight into 10 more with my 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it down. Take a breather. <laughs> You're gonna get right back under that bar for round two. 20 hip thrusts. You might have guessed by now that this set feels more like a volume set, and it is. <laughs> These are high reps. But for a lot of us who work out at home, high reps are what we need to be effective with lighter weights, okay? 20, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, bring it down, down two swings, I'm going to go for 20 and 10 again, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Set it down. 10 more. Lighter weight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. Round two. Knocked it out of the park. Going on to round three. Grab a quick sip if you need it. These are both high heart rate moves. If you need more break in between rounds, take it to be able to maintain form and the weight that you're using. You've got a pause button. You can take your rest. No one's criticizing you for doing that. I'm gonna keep it going. 20 more reps, round three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Bring it down. You got your swings again. Yes, you can. And you will. You get to do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 more right away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Drop it. Okay. Final round of hip thrusts and swings. You made it. You should be sweating already. Looking all glowy and glistening. Make your own shine, right? When the sun is not out like it isn't today, you shine yourself. 20 reps. Let's go. Good form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll make it to 20. 1, 22, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice work. A little surprise for you there. <laughs> My goodness, that was a good burn for those thrusts. We've got our swings to finish off this set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 2, 3, 4, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Drop it. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am so proud of you. That was not an easy set. Okay. We have hip thrust again. This time we're doing it for hip. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're doing hip thrust. Second move we're doing is sitting there, rolling the bar off of you if you want. Knees up, abductions. And then we're hopping up quickly, <laughs> taking off the resistance band and doing a kettlebell pass off reverse lunge, okay? We're going through this circuit four times. So take a deep breath. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Each move you get to do four times. In fact, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first move two, we're gonna do each move two times through, okay? So two times on hip thrust, two times on knees up abductions, and then two times kettlebell pass off lunges. I'll be going with my 40 for the pass off reverse lunges. So make sure you have your room set up so you have success with this set. You've got a 10 second countdown. So staying with hip thrust for two rounds quickly here. Ah. Get under it. Don't get injured trying to get into an interval faster than you need to. Thrust it up. I challenge you to try to go at the same pace as what you did your 20 reps at. Unless you're going to do holds. If you want to do hip thrust holds, that's a different pace. Come on down. You're staying on hip thrust for one more round. And then we're going to hit the abductors. Nice job. I'm doing two second holds. One, two. One, two. A little bit of a pause thrust. One, two. One, two. You got this. You got 10 seconds here. Five, three, two, and one. Nice work. You want to roll this weight off of me. You're staying here in a seated position. Your knees are up. You're abducting for 30 seconds. You should feel it right here on your side glutes. If you don't have a band, you can resist by pushing your arms apart and get a little chest workout in too. 15 seconds. I know you guys can hear Max. <laughs> you can always hear Max. <laughs> nice work. One more round of abductions, and we'll stand it up quickly for our weight pass off with the kettlebell. Breathe it out. Your heart rate's coming down here, but your muscles are still burning. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Five. Three, two, one. Nice work. Take it off and stand up. The kettlebell goes in the same hand as the leg that is staying steady in this round. So I'm holding it in my right, I'm gonna step back and lunge with my left. So lunging, passing off. You got it. Nice and controlled. It does not have to be fast. Just get into your rhythm and stay in it. Five seconds, two, and one. All right, we have the same thing. 
30 seconds. Three, two, get it going. Step it back, pass it off. Quick transition to our hip thruster next. In 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, set it down. Get underneath that bar, get your band on. There we go. Roll that weight up, the rest of it up. I'm doing hip thrust hold again. Up for one, two, down. One, two, down. Press out against at the end. You got this. Two and one. You have 10 seconds left until your final round of hip thrusts in this workout. Doing holds again, I'll count you up. One, two, down. One, two, down. Make sure you're not resting at the bottom of that thrust, you're holding only in the top part of your thrust. Five seconds. And done. Get that bar off your hips. Keep that band on. You've got knees up abductions for two rounds. Two 30 second intervals. Get them going. Nice job. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That really burns. <laughs> one more 30 second interval here. Then we'll take the band off and hop up for our kettlebell weight pass off with the reverse lunge. seconds. Ten. Four, three, two, and one. Take it off. Grab that kettlebell. Hold it in the leg that's staying forward. So for me, that's my right hand and my right leg. Stepping back with my left. Lunge. Pass it off. Elevated kettlebell deadlifts. 
deficit kettlebell squat, and then static curtsy lunges per leg. So for my deficit, I just pulled out two weight plates. You can use two stools, you can use some books, use whatever you have, or just do it right on the floor. The deficit is only there to give you a greater range of motion, that is it. So if you're gonna use it, make sure you get past that plane to do the greater range of motion. All right, let's get it started. For the curtsy lunges, I'm going to go with my sandbag today. So I'll have that set out. Deadlifts for eight, oops, heels elevated deadlifts for eight reps. And this is actually too high for that for me, so I'm just gonna go down to one plate for that. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, deficit squat for eight reps. Just slide that back on top. Hold it down between your legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dropping it down. Curtsy lunges, eight per leg. Load up your weight, or just grab two dumbbells, whatever you're working with today. Here we go. One, oops, that crazy one, just stay back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job, step into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unload. Back to the top, eight reps again, heels elevated. Kettlebell deadlift. Sometimes just a slight little change like this really makes a good glute connection. You judge for yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to the center for deficit squats. Eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, drop it down. Eight more static curtsies per leg. Load up that weight. Step right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a balance move for me, so I gaze at the floor, probably about four to five feet in front of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unload. We've got one more round of our lower rep. 
count of eight reps. Write this one out of your face. And let's go for it. You've got eight reps. Heels are up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice job. Deficit squats. Eight more. Starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set it down. Eight curtsy lunges per leg. Loading it up. Getting on with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have your challenge round. Take stock right now, how your body's feeling. Decide if you can keep the same weight and double up your reps, or if you need to reduce your weight. And if you need to reduce your weight, that is smart training, okay? Don't risk injury or bad form over trying to protect your ego. So, 16 reps, heels elevated, kettlebell head lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you did it. Dropping it down, you've got 16 deficit, de deficit kettlebell squats. Take a deep breath. Pump yourself up, tell yourself that you can, and let's go. Starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, drop it. Okay, 16, static curtsy lunges per leg to finish off this set. Loading it up, dropping right into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hips stay forward, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. 
other leg. Hips stay forward, chest is up, smile is on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Unload. Awesome work, guys. We are really cruising through this workout. I know there might have been parts of that set that you started to doubt yourself and you started to think that this was feeling uncomfortable, but you made it through. We have a pyramid next. 10 reps to two reps, evens only. We're doing a back loaded box squat with two abductions at the bottom. So when you're seated, we have your resistance band on and you abduct two times before you stand. In between each round of that pyramid, we're doing two hang cleans, three kettlebell reset swings, and four switch lunges. So for the kettlebell reset swings, I'm just gonna set out this pad to make an extra sound, sound illuminator. I don't even know how much that works, but it seems to help deaden the hit on the floor a little bit. Take a deep breath, grab a quick drink, and we're gonna get started. Ten reps to start. Get your resistance band on. I'm gonna go with my barbell. Load it up. Get yourself right in front of your seat. I'm not taking the time right now to get rid of my deficit. So if you want to, go ahead and push pause. Loading up. Full seat. Abduct one, two, press this down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, unload your weight. Dropping it down. Taking off my band and the barbell pad. We have two hang cleans. Let's go. One. Two. Set it down. You've got three reset swings. Full same swing and then resetting. One. Two, three, set it down. And four, switch lunges, hang on one leg only. One, two, three, four. All right, load it back up. You've got eight reps, barbell or back load with whatever you're using. Box squats with two abductions. Get started. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, 
eight. Unload. Two hang cleans after you get that band off. One. Two. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back here. Three reset swings.
20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, but we have four moves, so it's a circuit. We'll only be using our kettlebells. If you don't have a kettlebell, substitute whatever equipment you do have to make it work for you. We're doing hang cleans, then a staggered burpee to a swing, a deadlift squat, so deadlifting down, squatting to stand, and then goblet squats, okay? So, for the deadlift squat, since I still have my deficit out here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for that, okay? If you don't have a deficit out, you're doing it right on the ground. 20 second intervals, that is it. You're only gonna get each move two times. This is just going to fly. Starting off with the hang clean, you've got a 10 second countdown. Pick up that weight, you're gonna power clean and squat to get under it. That's it. You're here for 20 seconds. Three, two, and one. Staggered burpee to a swing. So when you hop up from your burpee, only hop up halfway so you're in a swing position. Staggered push up. To start, halfway hop up, one swing, go to the other side with your hands. And one, deadlift squats. So stepping right up here onto my deficit. So deadlifting down, squatting the stand. And one, goblet squats. I'm switching to my 40. Remember what I said about form and ego. Do not let that get in the way. Instead, when you drop your weight, you tell yourself that you are doing awesome because you've challenged yourself that much today that you need to reduce weight. You are that uncomfortable that it feels good to reduce the weight. And that's okay. We've got hand cleans at the top. Here we go. Shaking and burning. We're doing 
hip up head. 30 seconds on of a side leg, bent leg, hip up. Immediately into a 20 second hold on that leg. And then 10 seconds to switch, okay? We're doing it six rounds total, so three on each leg. Final six minutes of this workout. You've got a 10 second countdown. So lay my little towel out here. Get on your side, bending your legs. Hip up, knee lift. Just like this for 30 seconds. At the beep, you're going right into a 20 second hold. The top part of this position. Feel that glute contraction as you pick it up on both your lower and upper abduction muscles, adductor muscles. Five seconds till you hold. Two and one. Hold it right here. If you want to straighten your leg and get a long lever action, go for it. Stay bent. It is up to you. Or you can do hamstring curls. <laughs> make it even fun. Make it make you smile. Watch the drip running, sweat dripping right off your face. That should make you smile. That should make you proud. Other side. 30 seconds, here we go. Leg lift, hip up. At the beep, you go right into your hold. seconds and you're holding or curling that leg whatever you want to do you can change it up each round too this is you this is your workout hold it I'm gonna do the curl really focus on contracting that hamstring as you curl it in less than ten five four three two one. <laughs> okay, you've got to do two more on each leg. Let's go. I know it burns. I know you're feeling sweaty and tired, but this is not the time to give in. This is the time to dig deep, get that extra glute pump, feel extra proud of yourself, for finishing this workout today. Five seconds here until you hold. Two, one. I'm just doing a straight leg hold this time. Breathe it out. Four, three, Two, one, oh, other side. I am right here with you. I am burning right along with you. Let's go. After these next few beats, you get to go along for the rest of your day or night and feels completely proud of yourself. No, you left nothing behind. You hustled up right up to the very last beep. Three, two, one, and hold. Straight leg for me this time. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale it out. One more time. Three, two, and one. I know. This is your final round on this leg. You need it. Let's go. This was a move, by the way, that when I first did it, I could do no more than like 10 or 15. And I was like, spent. Adding a lot of banded abductors into routines has strengthened those muscles for me. 
Get ready for your hold in four, three, two, one. I'm just staying bent. Guys, are you shaking? Because <laughs> I am. I'm completely shaking right now. 10 seconds. Three, no, five, four, three, two, and one. Holy moly. Switch it over. You only have 50 seconds of work. Let's go. Use your breath. Don't give up. Guys, you will see this set again. <laughs> I don't do the same workouts, but I oftentimes will pull a very uncomfortable set from a workout and do it again and again and again until it doesn't become so uncomfortable. Ready for your hold right now. We put ourselves in these uncomfortable situations, these positions, so that we get physically stronger and mentally stronger. We carry that, that strength with us. You've earned that strength. No one can take that away from you. You've earned it. Down. <laughs> Go into a child's pose right here. Oh my. Put your head down on the mat. Shake it back and forth. Massage your forehead while also getting the sweat off your face. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Give yourself one more round of applause in your head. You guys did awesome work. That is the way to knock out a lower body and glute routine. I love you all so much. I will see you at the next workout.